are essentially two methods of time travel that physicists have been able to consider. Neither of them involves a DeLorean, but one of them may actually be plausible. I thought you were gonna say, but one of them does involve a TARDIS. <laughs> That's not time. <laughs> That's time and space and dimensions, <laughs> Emma. <laughs> well, this is this is sort of involves space as uh -huh. well as time. Yeah, I mean it's all relative. Yeah. Um, so the, a lot of this comes, this information comes from Brian Green. Brian is a professor of physics and mathematics at Columbia University and co-founder of the World Science Festival. And he draws upon Albert Einstein for a lot of his explanations because he did a lot of the work in the field of perhaps theoretical time travel, explaining one version. We know how to do it because Einstein showed us the way over 100 years ago. It's surprising how few people actually know about this in their bones. He showed that if you go out into space and travel near the speed of light and you turn around and you come back, your clock will be ticking off time more slowly. So when you step off, it's going to be the future on planet Earth. You will have time traveled into the future. Related, he says, he also showed that if you hang out near a nice strong source of gravity, a neutron star, a black hole, and you kind of get right near the edge of that object, time also for you would slow down real slow relative to everybody else. And therefore, when you come back to Earth, for instance, it'll be far into the future. What he is saying is physicists tend to agree that it might be possible to travel forward in time as opposed to back in time, which is uh, even more theoretical at this point. Yeah, I mean, wasn't that whole movie Interstellar about how if you're in space traveling at the speed of light or you're stuck in a black hole? I, first of all, don't hang out near black holes. That sounds like a very terrible idea. But that time will have passed on Earth, mm -hmm. but not for you where for you, you are out in space. You exist in all times? Yeah, I mean that that is the that and is the confusing love part is about the power it. That breaks because it? because it's not like you are literally <laughs> you're not traveling forward in time in the way they do in say Back to the Future Part Two, where you get in a time machine and you travel forward to the future. It's more like because time is relative, time for you doesn't pass, but it does pass for the Earth. Yes, so time would appear to slow down where you are. Yes. And it it is all relative, right. I mean, as, as you said. Um, the other form of time travel, um, and again, we're only talking about traveling in the future uh, for the first two. Is it possible to travel back in time? One thing that is used often is, uh, or one trope that is used often in fiction is wormholes. Wormholes are something Einstein also considered and seems to have been the most knowledgeable about. And we still don't even know if they're real. I think we have a video montage explaining what a wormhole might be. All right, look. Uh, we're used to viewing space as flat, right? Like this piece of paper. To see something from a distance, light has always had to travel the long way across the flat space in between. So they say you want to go from here to there. But it's too far, right? Mm -hmm. So a wormhole bends space like this. It folds space so that point A and point B coexist in the same space and time. You create a doorway. Like a gate? Sure. Like a gate. But again, this is all... Theoretical. <laughs> Apparently all we you need to do is just... You didn't tell me you were doing just all TV. Yep, just fold some paper and stick a pen through it. You've traveled through time. <laughs> <laughs> Wormholes are essentially a tunnel from one location space to another. If you were to distort time on one end, let's say by putting it at the edge of a black hole, mm -hmm. perhaps the times would be different on one end as opposed to the other end. Mm -hmm. Again, wormholes aren't something that we know exists. Yeah, so. I, it's so interesting that <laughs> they are this recurring trope in fiction that may have some origin in science. I like the idea that we're exploring quantum physics. Sure. But I don't know if that's technically correct. I mean, we don't know yeah. if wormholes exist. Well, because the thing about time being relative and your time becoming suspended if you're traveling at the speed of light, that mm -hmm. makes sense to me. The wormhole thing is a little more, how does that actually occur? Yeah, it's, 
it's less grounded in facts that yes. we know as opposed to facts that are plausible. Sure. Or no, not facts even. Well, based on plausible, based on facts, mm -hmm. and then creating a plausibility after that. Um, but physicists do agree on not wormholes <laughs> being a possibility for perceived time travel to the future. Uh, audience, what is your favorite explanation of time travel in a movie or television show? I was surprised by that, but maybe you weren't. Please let us know on Facebook and Twitter.